I'm planning on doing a festive get together and giving 50 people Christmas dinner. Oh, that or, is so Or maybe lovely. a few more if we, you know, if anybody else wants to, to come and join us. Now, take it as Howard suggested. You're not trying to squeeze all these people into your front room, are you? No, we're, we're actually holding it at the Working Men's Institute in Laxey. Uh, and if anybody's struggling, you know, to sort of get there, we do also have a, quite a few people who have offered to pick people up and, and bring them to us. Oh, so when is this and who is it actually for? This will be on Christmas Day at 1pm. Uh, and uh, it's for anybody who this Christmas is not the Christmas that they thought they were going to have. So we have had um, a mum whose children are going to their other parents, you know, this, this Christmas. We, we've had... Um, couples who would normally be going away to see their their family. Um, we've had people whose partners work for emergency services, so they would be on their own because they're scheduled to to work. You know, on mm. on that day, there is no criteria except you don't want the Christmas that last week you thought was what you were looking forward to or not looking forward to. That is so lovely. And and it's actually been inspired, hasn't it, by uh, you having a, a slightly different Christmas last year? There is. There, there's, uh, there's two reasons, actually. I mean, one, I mean, my dad was always very, very passionate about, about Christmas. He always did Christmas, you know, and if you didn't turn up, then, you know, he didn't change. It was not altered. Sadly, my dad actually died on Christmas Eve. Um, but in addition to that, we normally have two Christmases. We normally have Christmas at home with my family and then we go to Norfolk to visit my husband's family. So we're, you know, really, really lucky, you know, that we can do that. And we haven't seen any of them, you know, sort of since what would have been last Christmas, so last January. Um, and then a song came on because it's music, which is, you know, sort of brought it home was if you can't be with the ones you love, love the ones you're with. And I thought, we've got to do something. So I spoke to my family and said, you know, we, we can do this. We can make this big. We can, you know, have people, you know, sort of come. I've had so many people volunteering and each and every one of them I've said, we have enough volunteers, um, you know, with the, the, the family and close friends, you know, who are helping us out. We also have two qualified chefs who are going to be, so it's not going to be me making these sprouts for you, um, you know, and it's all just come together. And so the people who they're wanting to volunteer because they don't want to be on their own for the day and it's, well, just come and join us anyway. Aww. I don't need to know why you want to come. You just need to know that you don't want to be where you are on Christmas Day. Wow. And so are you going for the whole, by the sound of it, you might be, you're going for the whole traditional Christmas sort of turkey sprouts trimmings type yep. dinner? There will be three courses. So there will be probably soup or something to start with, mm -hmm. uh, and then there will be full Christmas turkey um, and well, all the trimmings. Norfolk, you see, I, think, I was thinking Norfolk. Yeah. You can't not have turkey, can you? Of course you, you can't, <laughs> no. Uh, and then there will be trifle and Christmas puddings and, wow. and things, you know, um, afterwards. Yeah, and the this elves will be serving you. Oh, even better. And you know what? And Julie was saying beforehand, you were saying, you, this is going to be a celebration, isn't it? This isn't going to be, you know, sort of a sombre affair with people nope. feeling a bit sad. This is going to be a real celebration. It certainly is, yeah. My daughter, um, I gave her the role of sorting out games. So um, some of them I had to stop her. <laughs> uh, but, you know, there the will be, it will be a fun day you know the, it won't be I, I know you know you, people sort of have this image of a line of tables in the middle of the room and these people you know oh, look at these nice people serving us dinner you know and it's not going to be like that at all it will just be a family you know sort of event and it's to celebrate you know everything that is good about you know the Isle of Man that we can do it and that we're missing all of our family in Norfolk you know and farther afield um so let's do something nice. It's such a wonderful idea, isn't it? This is what Christmas is all well, about and the festive that is, season exactly in general. So, so if someone is listening and they really want to be part of this, what do they have to do? There is a Facebook page called Festive Get Together. Uh, or they can contact me 
Uh, I'm on Facebook, Julie Matin. If nobody can remember any of that, I actually work for GAF commissioners. So I'm quite sure they won't mind saying, you know, passing on any of my details. They can phone me. They can send a pigeon, you know. Um, <laughs> the Beach Stop Cafe down in Laxey are also taken. They have a list that they're, they're adding people to. And Kurt Michael Chippy who are going to be making all of our roast potatoes. Hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is, isn't this just wonderful? I kind of want to do this, but I think my, my family might be a bit annoyed if I, if I head off and do this Bring instead. them with you. <laughs> yeah. So Bring this is Christmas up. Day. Uh, this Christmas Day, so you're giving up your Christmas Day and all these volunteers as well were happy to give up their Christmas Day just to bring a bit of cheer. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, a lot of the, the people who volunteer, I had to say no, you know, because um, you can end up with having too many volunteers, you know, and not enough, you know, sort of people, you know, that were was what the reason we were doing it for. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're coming anyway. You know, they're, they're now coming as guests instead of volunteers. Just fabulous. Isn't, it is, this, isn't it wonderful? It's an amazing thing. And, and sort of numbers-wise, I mean, I don't know, you're inundated, I'd imagine. Sort of, uh, well, we've I'm sure got... you'll have more people keen to go than space, even in there. Well, no, that's one of the reasons mm. that I got in contact, because I think a lot of people think that it is a, a, a charity, mm. you know, and am I deserving, you know, to, to be, you know, to, to come to this, this Christmas dinner. I don't care whether you are a millionaire, you know, whether... Um, you normally go and book into a hotel, you know, for the the, the week um, because you want to have company. It, it is all about that you do not want to spend, you know, the Christmas day that yesterday you thought was you were going to have. Yeah. So it's making your Christmas Christmassy again, essentially, and putting the festive cheer back in where it might have been missing. That's which is it. Just, and it's all about people getting together and community. And Alex do do community very well, don't they? I have to say. Yeah. Um, but a perfect example of the Isle of Man coming together. And-